all right so this is another microsoft video and today we will be talking about 10 perks that i feel as an ex microsoft software engineer who has spent almost two years working at the firm can tell you and the background for this video is that one of my very close friends has lately been interviewing at microsoft and luckily he got an offer and he was very much curious about the questions work-life balance and the culture at microsoft so i thought that why not also make a video and share it with you guys before I start with the video, there is another interesting concept that I have tried out for this video. So I'll be trying to give this presentation from a terminal. So one thing that I have done from my side is just to make this video a bit more interesting for you and so that you don't have to read a lot of jargon, I have tried to make this experience a little bit better for you. So now let's start with it and today as we have mentioned, we are going to talk about the best things about working at Microsoft and the first thing that comes to my mind is the experience for developers that they follow. By the way guys, we'll also be talking about stock benefits, the campus, how beautiful it is, what are the other perks it has. So make sure to watch the video till the end. And what I would like to say is that at Microsoft, they have really made it very easy for college graduates as well or even if a professional software engineer from open source background or from different background, different languages, um, if he is coming to work at Microsoft, I think it's very easy for them to connect and like really be productive. One of the reasons for that is their integrations, like they have everything in one place. Even if you talk about their Visual Studio code editor, not VS Code, I'm talking about Visual Studio. Uh, I think the latest one is 2019 version and I think it's super good. They have inbuilt debugger as well as they have Git integrations. So if you are a like uh, I would say professional, of course you would be knowing Git. But if even if you're a college graduate, you don't have to like really understand a lot about using Git and how to use it. It's super intuitive how they have built it, crafted it out in their own inbuilt editor. It's super good. And um, they also allow you to publish to Azure resources directly from their editor and which is like super cool one other thing is that since you are using the same technologies across different teams at microsoft because all technologies that you are using belong to microsoft so it's quite easy for you to switch from one team to other as well and we will come to that as well because that's a great perk the other thing is that if you are a software developer you probably know about jenkins or jira which are something like make your team productive so jira is used for project management and jenkins is something like um, whenever you merge something into your master you want that a build should be triggered and that notion of continuous build continuous integrations so all that you can achieve using jenkins um, what i would like to say is that at microsoft jira jenkins and even your something like github where you host your source code everything is crafted into one portal which is azure devops the name had been changed recently and i think it's super cool that as a developer you can just go look at the different repos you can see the different wikipedia links right from there you can also see the different people who are working on that and i think one portal having all those integrations provide a seamless experience for developers of course moving on um, i think this would be something interesting uh, stocks and money benefits so let's talk about the stock trend which is super powerful so right now the price is 161 and you might see something as it's going down but uh, like i joined in 2017 and now it's 2020 so uh, let's see the graph for last five years as you can see it's going super great right like always going up and when i joined at 2017 the price was something in the notion of 60s and 50s right as you can see over here and like just believe the improvement it has given out of that like it's 162 right now and uh, i think it's almost close to 3x growth so if you join microsoft and you got let's say 20 lakhs of stocks or 30000 us dollars for example those would have been now something like 60 lakhs right so as software engineers who are like really joining microsoft from college i think it's super cool and they do provide a little bit less base salary, but their stocks compensate more than that for that. And also I would like to mention that if you are a software developer, you might not be doing a lot of financial investments. And I see this as a very good way wherein Microsoft is giving you stocks. So you have invested some part of your money into markets, which is also a good thing because you're not going to do that on your own. But anyways, I think Microsoft stocks are doing tremendously great. And apart from that, they also have stock refresher award, which you get at the end of year based on your performance. And as you grow more and more higher positions at Microsoft, 
the award range will also increase. So if you perform good at higher levels, you will get tremendously huge uh, stock refresher awards. Apart from this, they also have annual bonuses in terms of cash. I'm not talking about the joining bonus. So yeah, that's also one other thing at Microsoft, which is pretty great, I think. Education, again, Microsoft really invests a lot on your uh, on their developers. I mean, like they have their own library. And I remember I have, I'm never a person who is like more into books or something. And at Microsoft, I was having a lot of free time. And I used to hang out at the office because it was super cool. And I, I would go to the library, just pick up some random books on productivity, mindsets. And it really helped me a lot. Like I remember that the, a book, I, I read a book on negotiations and I also read a book on growth mindset. Those two books were tremendously like useful in my life. And what I want to say is that you don't have to basically worry about buying books or something. You have a lot of access to a lot of premium content and all you need is a little bit push from inner self that you have to do things because you have everything. It's just how much energy you have to use them. Again, they have free plural site subscription and LinkedIn learning. And I think I messed up with the spelling. It should be plural site. Yes. And that's one of the other things which I love about presenting in terminal. I can change stuff on the fly. By the way, I am presenting on the terminal for the first time. I think it's crazy. And if you're liking it, make sure to subscribe. For higher studies, they are going to cover, I think, up to 2 lakhs of uh, amount or expenses per year, which is, again, very good. If you're doing master's or MBA, this would be super cool. And I do have a lot of friends who have used this. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't think a lot of companies do this for their developers. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Organized and planned. Uh, this is something which I, again, miss at Microsoft. Um, so Microsoft is huge. It has a lot of history. And what I have seen is that everything has a proper procedure, right? Even if let's say your team is building some API and all everything is fine. You are doing things on your own. Um, but when you have to deploy this to outer world on the internet, there is a separate security team and a separate process that you have to follow. So someone from your team will be working or will be the point of contact for those security experts. And they will be talking about like they have a fixed procedure and they will be doing certain checks with you on your product, on your API. And only if everything passes, only then you can release your API to the outside world. So I think this is also again, very organized and planned and a lot of startups will not be having such things. Um, again, proper track of best standards. This is another favorite one of mine and credit scan, release from master, Azure compliance. So these are some standard practices, good software engineering team should follow. And right now in your company, let's say you're working at some, like any software engineering firm. Do you think about how your leadership is measuring which teams are doing good? Of course, if they are generating revenue, that's one of the measurable indicator. But how do you measure their code quality, right? And in those cases, you need to follow certain engineering practices. So following them is one thing, but measuring them is different thing. And Microsoft has also invested in that. So at the most granular team levels, they are measuring this. And then they have aggregations based on different sub teams, subdivisions and sub organizations. So now um, Satya Nadella or anyone in the le senior leadership team can see which teams are having good standard engineering practices. For example, grid scan is a tool which basically scans your repository and sees that if you are basically using some connection strings or secret information in your source code and you are checking it into GitHub or basically Git, it will stop you from doing that. It will not allow you to push it. I mean, having those things is one thing again and like measuring how many of your branches are following this, how many branches are following the release from master, all these things, they are measuring this and they have dashboards which allow you to navigate into different teams and see which team is having good engineering practices. Moving on to the campus. Ah, I love this one. Um, <laughs> so Microsoft has a huge campus in India. Um, the Hyderabad campus has three buildings. They have a lake inside it. They have three gyms with 24-7 gym instructors. I think it's super cool. If not 24-7 gym instructors, I remember that 24-7 the gym is open. And instructors, I have seen them most of the time, which are which, which, they are also very good. So again, they also have a lake. They, on every floor, they have pool, table tennis, carom, chess, board games. And it's super cool. Also, they have revamped their 
uh, Microsoft office in Hyderabad and it they also have few places in the campus where it resembles like small cafes which have books and board games right so I think it's pretty amazing to work in a place like that it, it really motivates me to get out of my house and go to such a beautiful campus and like really code in such a soothing place all right uh, moving on i think one id card global access is another interesting one and what it allows you to do is that when i was on business trips in microsoft when i went to us uh, just same id card can be used to enter any building and when you're talking about redmond they have 120 buildings i think they might have increased even more and Every building is, of course, having food, drinks, they have games, as I've said. So it's pretty cool way to chill out with your friends if you have to, because visitors are also allowed in Microsoft campus. And I think it's super cool just to have this power to travel anywhere. And if you have to crash for a little while, if you have like an hour or so, you can basically easily have a good place to hang out. All right. Uh, again, this is pretty interesting. And collection of startups, of course, Microsoft is huge. And one of the things I have seen is that they have so much of work so much of different teams you will never get bored you can stay in the same company for years and years you can have a very strong network a lot of people know you so it's very easy for you from one place to another place and you'll never get bored like if, what i have seen is that a lot of people take jumps for basically doing a new kind of work because they are bored with their current work but at microsoft you have ample of opportunities. You just need to have your connection, which will allow you to know what's happening in what place. And based on your interest, you can take a fair shot and make a switch. And the good thing is when you're making this switch, your basically performance, you're still in the same company. So everyone knows that based on your history, like you were really performing good. And this is something which you kind of lose when you are moving to a new different firm because you have to build your reputation again. And I really love this thing at Microsoft. Like it really allows a developer to live his or her life in the way they want. Again, changing teams is not a taboo, which is important stuff because I've seen even now there are a lot of good, huge software brands where if you are trying to change teams, their managers pitch about that and basically you are screwed. And this is something which really is good at Microsoft. I think the managers, most of them will really support you. Uh, of course, you have to perform and build a reputation first, but they will support you so that your career, uh, basically your career goals are aligned with the work that you are doing. Again, uh, one of the side perks is the huge events and parties. They do have certain kind of festivals or I would say parties every now and then and they also invite like huge singers and huge bands and they do have like amazing parties as well so i thought that this video would give you a kind of an idea about the things that you can expect at microsoft of course uh, i was not able to cover a lot of things but i think that this was uh, pretty amazing let me know in comments what you think about this and i will see you in the next one guys